Hi, my name is Wo Tran, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Active Colab plugin for OpenPBX. So what this basically does is you just pretty much call a phone number, and you can put any ticket in any project. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to point your browser to github.com slash davinci. And at github.com, you can grab Flow Sessions and Active Colab. For Active Colab, you're required to have Flow Sessions because we want to go ahead and store all incoming data. That way you can use it throughout the whole flow. So we just download these two and install it into your plugins folder. And after you do that, I'm just going to go ahead and log in into uh, OpenBBX right here. And also, you want to go ahead and log into your Active Collab to get your API key as well, too. And you can get your API key from your profile. And you click on API settings right here. And this right here is your API key. So let's go ahead and create an active collab flows. Oh, make sure you also have some projects as well too. So you need to specify which project that you would want to have. So right now I only have one project right here. It's called Simple Test. So I'm going to create a new flow. Let's just call this active collab for now. So what you want to do first is you want to drag the capture data applet right here. This will capture all incoming data going into this call flow and storing it so that way you can use it throughout the whole session, this whole flow. So we go in here and we'll just hit the save button. And now let's go ahead and pull the um, active collab ticket over. It's called ticket. And as you can see right here, it's asking me to put my information in. So I'm going to put my URL, and I'm going to copy and paste my API key in and save that. And now I can select which project I want, and I can select a prompt. So it's like, please leave a voicemail for the simple test project. Save that. And this will automatically assign the, the tickets based on the incoming phone calls in your Active Collabs accounts. And you can also go ahead and select a default voicemail user if it doesn't recognize the incoming phone call. Now let's go ahead and save. And you also want to make sure you um, assign a phone number for this as well too. Go ahead and go to flows right here. And let's put a phone number for this. And now let's give that phone number a call. Please leave a voicemail for the simple test project. This is a voicemail ticket for this active collab. I think we need to do one, two, three, and a couple of things for this. And we just go ahead and wait for the notification to my phone and my email. As you can see in your inbox right now, it's transcribing the message I, I just uh, sent to active collab. Once the transcription is completed, there should be a ticket inside our Active Collab. Okay, there you go. This is a voicemail ticket for this Active Collab. And if I go to the project, 
Now we have another task right here, and another ticket. So let's go ahead and click on the project, and click on tickets, and there you go. We have ticket number four, and it tells you which phone number this came from, and also there's a link right here that you can click on to play the message again inside of Active Collab. Collab. Okay, and if you need any help on this, uh, just email me at wtran at twilio.com.